I'm back with another video. Today we have dating in Colombia. Guy code. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. On this episode of Geico, we go on some dates in Colombia. But first, let's discuss dating in America. Dating for one is overrated. When will bitches start taking us on dates? I thought bitches wanted equality. I give a bitch three days. Bitch, you get three days. Think of a date kind of like a job interview, but instead of trying to get hired, you're trying to get late. My number one dating tip is eye contact. If you take a girl on a dinner date, once the check comes, go to the bathroom. There's about a 25% chance she'll pick up the tab. Can't beat a free date. <laughs> How much should you spend on a first date? The price of the date is basically the price of pussy. How much does pussy cost? I mean, nowadays it's very cheap. <laughs> yeah, keep it under $30, unless she's bad. If she's bad, maybe like 40. You know there's inflation, so maybe like 50. But... He don't know what he talking about. <sighs> Believe it or not, I haven't been on a date. With ever fall underneath the umbrella of a date. I never. And nowadays, this ain't granddad in them days. Nowadays, the chances of me going on a date is the chances of you seeing an unidentified flying object. I'm here on a Western, modern day United States of America. It's nothing but trash. I'm a realist as well as a stoicist. I know it ain't shit out here. I'm not looking for a needle in a haystack. I'm a realist. So, yeah, we got. We got the generalized fact and statement. It ain't nothing but trash. And then the needles in the haystack would be the exceptions to the rules. It's always been exceptions to the rules, things on the outskirts. Like me, I always been. But I'm a realist. I'm not looking for no needle in the haystack. So it's all obsolete to me at that point. But, and if I am going on a date, hypothetically speaking, we're going somewhere where it don't cost no money. An empty field, nothing but grass, probably a blanket down, lay down, talk, and stargaze. If you can't do that, I don't fuck with you to begin with. I don't. I can't. It's going to, like, the looks don't intimidate me. That don't mean shit. First of all, I look better than you. Who? You, hold on. Yeah. I go off for rarity. It's like, how, how I determine who look better is rarity. Like, is you more rare, shorty, or am I more rare? It's only one on this planet. When I go, another one will come about. But until then, it's over with. But you, it's a billion yous. It's only one of me. So, yeah. My competence, my capabilities, my power level is over 9,000. A lot of people fucked up due to what others, forefathers did to your ancestors. And it's in your bloodline through epigenetic trauma. You haven't underwent neuroplasticity. You ain't rewrite your DNA with affirmations in the corresponding feeling and eating according to your genetic composition. I corrected what was wrong with me. I should feel some type of way, but yeah, I don't. That's going to call you, cost you extra in itself and everything I can do. I'm picking the future mother of my children based off as if I was a son I'm having. So I have kids that either going to be born with everything I learned or they just going to be more susceptible to picking it up very fast. That's going to cost you extra. So I'm going out for rarity. You, it, it don't intimidate me. And what you look like going on a date and spending some money. And nine times out of ten, she, somebody else than one night standard. Like, me personally, I'm not... I'm not doing it, but let's continue. No, no more than 50 though. The value of pussies drop significantly, so any date more expensive than a Netflix account is an expensive date. I like to just kick it in the car. I used to. That's what I'm talking about. Something simple. My number one dating tip is to do less. That's the secret. The easiest way to get pussy is to not want the pussy. Reverse psychology. What are some of the worst dates? I would say. Don't let that go beneath your nose, fellas. The best way to get it is to not want it. Like that don't make sense. It don't make sense, but it, it is what it is. Um what's so fucked up about me is I genuine I genuinely don't. I don't care. If I like you, I expect the first day. But at the same time, if I don't like you, one more. If I don't like you, I expect you to give it up the first day. If I don't like you, I'm not gonna take you out on a date day because I don't like you enough to do so. Um but if I do like you, the last thing I'm trying to do is get you in my bed. If I do like you, the last thing I'm trying to do is get in your bed. I want to explore your internal to see if you potentially, you know, um, it don't make sense, right? It's like it's, it's ass backwards, but that's that's just like how there is this ass backwards. It's like if you want it, act like you don't want it. But me, I genuinely don't give a fuck. It's, it's fucked up. Something wrong with me. 
I'm aloof. Like, people walk around with their feelings and feel they touchy me. I don't care. I don't give no fucks to the point that I shouldn't even say that word to begin with. I don't give no blank. Somebody say blank in the comment section. It's it's crazy. I look outside myself with bird eyes view uh, apparatus. I be looking from third person perspective, looking at me like there's something wrong with him. Because I don't feel nothing. But let's continue. Probably the movies. Unless you know she a whore. A popcorn over the kids. Me personally, I got jacked off in the movie theater. So, but, but in general, a movie day is not optimal. I'm gonna teach y'all what rejection taught me. Bitches are retarded. You gotta love her, but not like her. He this is where like the nice guys fuck up. They like them and they love them. The boyfriend, he just loves her. He don't like her. Any bitch with a boyfriend, he don't like you. And that's why it works. <laughs> what outfit should you wear on the first date? I'm probably not the best thing to ask fashion advice from. You wanna come there with some gray sweatpants and some black Air Force Ones. If she wears these three things, she's on go on any day. Booty shorts, an oversized hoodie to where it look like she naked, and then yoga pants, anything that you feel me shows off her curvature, she on go. Should you fuck on the first date? Yes. Yes. Me personally, I don't fuck on the first date. I hold the dick hostage. You gotta earn this dick. Cause this dick costs love and affection. Recently, I linked up with three hoes in three hours. The first one was my main team. I lined her up for 9.30, take my main team out to eat. Then, I meet up with shorty number two. We linked up, we got Boba. Then, random number two. Fuck with Boba. I drove 45 minutes. She had great personality. Five minutes later, I busted it down. So I went one for three. But you know what Stephen Curry says, as long as you hit one. Girl, I think he said that. What's the goal of dating? Just head. That's the goal of dating, man. If I take you serious now, we get to fuck it. If she's bad, I'm gonna try to wipe it up. If she's below an eight, I'm just trying to fuck. Most niggas is trying to fuck on the first date. I'm trying to get to know her. That way I can get her attached and I can fuck consistently. I'm playing a long game. Who not to date? Girls with OnlyFans? Girls who drive Hondas? Girls who wear Jordans? If she got pronouns in her bio, don't date her. If she can name five athletes, don't date her. If she watches the minorities, don't date her. We didn't have her. If she got Meg the Stallion in her playlist, don't date her. If bitch got Linktree in her bio, don't date her. If she films workout videos, but she's not a licensed trainer, don't date her. She's a whore. It ain't too many bitches to date, I ain't gonna lie. See? It ain't too many, so... The ones that are dateable, they will be considered a needle in a haystack, an exception to the rule. I'm not looking for that. So I trashed the whole United States together, all together. And yes, it's thoughts everywhere, but you have a way better chance in other places. That's my point. Um, yeah, let them cook. There is a new dating trend in the world right now. I guess relationship trend is the better way to say it. Unacceptable places to take a woman on a first date going viral on the social media platform. And it's leaving men stumped what? on where else to go. On the list, Cheesecake Factory took the problem with that. This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? And after watching this clip, I can understand why so many American men are leaving their country to find a good wife elsewhere. So apparently American women hate the Cheesecake Factory. So we just decided to take that same $40 budget that American women hate and spend it overseas. I'm in Columbia right now, waiting for these hoes. Show you niggas how to knock bitches in third world. I seen that video too. Shorty, you wouldn't have even been in my, you wouldn't have even been allowed in my seat. Ungrateful, ungrateful. You wouldn't have been in my seat. But yeah, I already know I'm going overseas to see over. <sighs> <laughs> Damn, I forgot what I was about to say. It's gonna come back to me though. It will. Let's continue. What's going on? <laughs> what was your name? Lisa Aura. We the one that's going on a date. Uh -huh. Yeah, me and you. Stay guapo. <laughs> so as you see, first thing you gotta do is isolate. She came into the room to tell her people. I took her to the balcony. Yeah. You from Colombia? Yeah. Yeah. What is this? A choker? Yeah. You like being choked? Choked. Thank you. Ay, Dios. <laughs> <laughs> I scant there already. She definitely a bust down. She's showing titties. She's showing too much leg. She got a lollipop with a choker. The, the bill here can't fit through that. So you're going to have to take the choker off. But yeah. <laughs> I want to know what's in her She do got swag. Yeah, it's a nice camera. It's his camera. He's a big YouTuber. I'm a small YouTuber. You know? He's a liar. He's, he's big. He's big. What's your element? I'm good everywhere, but I just know what's in her mouth. What type of sucker is that? Strawberry. Strawberry? <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> 
notice the eye contact. It's not so much what you say, but it's how you say it. It's the energy. You gotta teach me some Spanish. Why how do you say I love you in Spanish? Yeah, there we go. Te amo? Te amo. Oh, you <laughs> You never had no boy. Look at her. She ready. Yeah, I'm gonna put the um the Trey songs on. What's the? Let me tap into the Akashic record so I can think of that song. Two boyfriends. The first was really crazy. How long were you with that first dude? Three years. Three? Oh, so you like crazy. <laughs> That's what that sounds like. And I just time. You like my style? Yeah. Appreciate it. You got a picture of your best outfit? Let me see your I best outfit. I have much pictures of it. I need your best outfit. I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> this one go crazy. You see this one? About seven minutes out. You hungry? I dare so. Uh, Snack place? Yes. Oh yeah, you gotta show me. Okay. <laughs> you gotta show me. Show me a food spot. What's a good food spot? We must walk. Hard. Walk a little bit? Yeah. As you see, I keep my dates budget friendly. This was a five hour date. Literally. Take me to the promised land. We look good. We look good? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't mad at That's it. That's how you bought one of budget, man. Kept it simple, got her a little fruit juice. I like your smile. Appreciate it. I like your smile. <laughs> As we wait on the fruit juice, we did a little steer contest, so that was cute. Everybody. Who No. I know. Gracias. Come up here, baby. You gotta take a sip. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You gotta look at me when you sit. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Capricorn. Who is this? Who mans is this? I I see what you're doing. You take a page out of his book. Either go to a picnic, nothing that don't cost no money, a little to no money. This cool. For her to unlock the V bucks, that will be considered DLC content. You got to get through the firewall for first. The walls of Jericho. I gotta. Let's continue, man. Oh, sign. Sign. I'm a Leo. What is you? Capricorn. Are we compatible? <laughs> and this don't lie. The signs don't lie. The signs don't lie. She right. Astrology was here. Astrology. Astrologers. They're astrologers. Like computer, spiritual, like technology that you really can tap into. One unique thing about me, a power I have, well, at least the ones I've studied, even with well, the ones I've studied, it's 12 archetypes. I've noticed everyone look like their name and you have the same everything. Okay, I don't want to confuse anyone. So let's stick with that. Okay, you got 12 archetypes, right? The 12 zodiac sign. Off of personality and energy and even how the female body is shaped, I can tell what zodiac sign you is. That's a power I have. And then it can be a little bit confusing sometimes because you can have a rising such and such or whatever Leo. So it's like it can vary. But for example, a Libra, a Libra female, that player bill, I can detect that anywhere based on how you shape your curvature, how it look. I don't know if any other males out there noticed that, but I noticed that early on. And I ain't never seen nobody talking about the science of this thing. Like, just like how you can get somebody that know numerology and they can tell you about yourself and it's very accurate. Not saying it's a hundred percent, but it's very accurate and you would agree with it too. Like most of the time I'm very accurate in what the female is based on how you act, your energy, your look. Cause you got like a look to you after all. All these things are, it's archetypes in their names and you will become your name. You, you is molded around your name or your name is sculpted around you, vice versa. That's why everybody look like they name everything to correlate to your name. And a name is just a word and the smaller building blocks of their word is letters. And every letter converts into a number. A is one, B is two, C is three, and so on and so forth. Y'all ain't gonna know what I'm talking about. My bad for confusing you. Somebody gonna know what I'm talking about, but I can't tell. It, she looked like a Capricorn. I would have guessed that. But let's continue. That's my. That's one of my superpowers. One of my weird abilities. I don't know. We're meant for each other. Boy, man. I love 
<laughs> my day was pretty much coming to a close as you see me tucked off. At the end of the day, she ended up buying me some Colombian food. So Face structure. <laughs> we waiting on the Uber right now. Oh, this might be one right here. For Yo, I'm actually curious. Don't lie to me. Somebody in the comment section, I know it's at least one of you. Let me know if you if you notice that. Like with a female, like she got a specific, like it's the archetype or whatever zodiac sign she fall under. It's like it'd be a body type, it'd be the face structure, it's everything. Like it's a real science to this. Yeah, I got superpowers. I got superpowers. <laughs> I've been traveling around the world. I agree. Have you dated a Colombian? Have I dated a Colombian? No. I like Mexican, Latinas. We could be compatible. What's your What's your uh, What's your sign? I don't believe in that. So <laughs> you don't even believe in that stuff. I don't no. either. I was just asking to see if you believed in it. You know what's fun that. Uh -huh. Whether you believe in it or not, it believes in you. It was here before you, and it's gonna be here after you. It's real. It's not the matter of me wanting to believe in it. No, sir. It's crazy. It's insane. Not saying do your Googles and they saying, oh, you're stubborn. I don't mean that shit. No, I mean the real, like numerology and your name and the syllables and you add it up. Like it's, yeah, yeah. Right. Huh. Guys always ask that. Very uh, real. <laughs> but then when believe I say it. I don't believe in that, they are always like, yeah, me neither. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't either. <laughs> She's a very pretty girl. I don't, say, I don't even think she was fucking with me. Fellas, I don't think she fucking with me. But Jay gonna work his magic. Get in there. Buddy. But I'm gonna get in there. So what do you like to do on your free time? I like watching movies a lot with my dog. What kind of dog you got? It's a small one. I have maybe, a dog too. Maybe you can see it. Oh, maybe I can see it? Okay, I like that. We working, fellas. We, we got something to work with now. Is this the kind of dog you have? Uh, no. Bigger or smaller? Smaller. How do you think the date is going so far? You were down 20, I'm not gonna lie. You're making a comeback. There is like a little bit of a language barrier. We down right now. The thing about it, it's only the second quarter. So the game can go either way. What would you suggest? Uh, I want something cold. I like to have handhelds. Drink a lot of coffee, don't you? Me? A little bit. Let's sit right here. <laughs> and I hate that language barrier shit. You can't really englace. You can't really enjoy life like that. So yeah, I'm gonna again. I'm gonna pick the future mother of my children based off as if I was the kid I'm having, and he's gonna be raised in a household where they speak in ten different languages. Is he gonna pick it up very fast and quick? I'm not gonna hand handicap him with just English. What kind of boring bullshit is that? Nah, you gonna know some shit. You gonna be a, a little James Bond, John Wick. <laughs> California. California. Say Texas. Texas. Ohio. Ohio. There we go. I'm That's in good. Ohio. You been in California? Mm. You spilled a little bit? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Oh no, are you staying for? You don't want one? This? Next time, I can recommend you something. Now that I know what you like. Next time. Day number two. <laughs> How would you feel if your boyfriend or husband, whatever, cheated on you? Everything depends. Certain stuff I really don't like and mm. some stuff that I don't really mind. If I have a boyfriend, mm. I like to take care of him. I don't like that someone else makes him coffee or mm -hmm. certain things yeah. that I like to take care of my man and mm -hmm. just me. So in that way, I don't like it. You don't like but it? the rest, I don't mind. Girls back home, they don't even like their man to talk to another girl. Loyalty is not like, he kiss someone else, so he's not loyal, no. Mm -hmm. I think loyalty is not a key. It's not that. Mm -hmm. I think loyalty is deeper. What about women? You think she can also do that? No. It says in the Bible, one cannot serve two masters. I like a lot how you think. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, up in this motherfucker. Tell me I'm about to serve this bitch. Jay go hard on the beat. Do you think you're going to win? <laughs> so I'm about to serve this bitch. Nah, that's, that's facts. You can't serve two masters. She can't go in there to her job and kiss her boss ass and do whatever he's saying. And then you come back home with an attitude and you don't want to drop that neck like an ostrich. That's crazy. You, you got to pick one. You can't serve two masters. You can't. That's very real. But let's continue. Oh. You don't think you're going to win? I don't know. Are you good at bowling? I'm good at everything. I like to win. Win, 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 win. I like your mind. I love. I ain't going to lie, fellas. Bitches out here, they do know how to take care of a nigga. I ain't going to lie. I see what the bad bros is talking about. These bitches do know how to spoil a nigga. Treat you like a king. Like you should. I'm going to show you a little bit how it's done, and then we're going to go from there.
Girl, what you want about? She told me that was a warm up. Feelings getting too well. This cup of season, and I need you right here with me now. I didn't know you can do that. Only I can. You got jokes, girl, that's not my problem at all. You should know. I don't care. You need pointers? You need tips on the form or how to do it? How to step, step, and then you're gonna. In the Jays program, we gonna get right. What's your honest opinion about me? I think you're very easy going, fun. Fun. Uh... What's your wild side? Oh, like wild, like what's my wild side? It's very crazy that you say that. Shit, I'm gonna tell you what you want to hear. You hear me? I'm gonna tell you. She reminded me of, of Catalina from GTA San Andreas. I like that with Colombian. Okay. I'm going overseas. The sea over the. I'm just not impressed with what was going on here. I, I'm not. It's old. It's nothing new. I've seen it all, and I want to see something else. I'm going overseas, and I ain't a part of them. Some of them guys, some of them fellas, actually is lame. They was ignored home, so they went over. Now they the main attraction to getting attention. Now I'm not one of those. I put a hoodie on with the Nike ski. I just seen people walk past on the balcony. Don't nobody bother them. Okay, I'll go outside and try to duck off everybody trying to bother me. All eyes on me. Let's continue, man. How did that sound? Why is it good? Now, how would you get wild? I can tell you off camera. Oh, no, but then. <laughs> what do you rate the date experience 1 to 10? It was great. Have a good time. Mm. Okay. It's very, a little bit weird with the camera. So. She would have preferred no camera, but you know. <laughs> Luckily <laughs> enough, we're content oriented. So one to ten. Like eight. Is there a possibility of a date too now? You think there's gonna be a second date? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Post game interview. Coming hey, off. Man. I thought that was it. This. Shout out to her, man. You feel me? I was sick and I still feel through. This is like Jordan. Nah, we gonna do it like that. We're gonna break it into two. So yeah, right here. <sighs> well, that's it for this video. That was a good first impression. I'm subscribing. That's it for this video. I'm going to leave the original video in the description. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. <laughs> DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. I hopefully you learned something today. Disney didn't lie to you. Us versus them, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out.